Hello, folks. How are you? Joanne Lavelle here. I haven't been on to you for a while, but I just thought that I would come on and have a quick chat with you about something that is um, very much front of my mind at the moment, and that is migrating out of Ulster Bank accounts. So all of our corporate banking has been with Ulster Bank for a great many years. And now, obviously, with Ulster Bank closing, we've moved over. I first say big thank you to our local Bank of Ireland business branch because they've been great at getting us set up with all of our new sets of accounts to replace the old Ulster Bank accounts. So they're great and thank you for that. Um, I suppose a couple of things just to make you aware of in case you're not. Um, in the client's account, if you are moving, say from your sales client's account, you're moving deposits over to your new account. Anybody who owns that money, you need to get their written permission to move it. So you need to tell them why you're doing this, where your money is moving from and where your money is moving to. Um, and get their permission, either a response or a, a letter to sign and send back to you to say that they give the permission to move the money to the new account. And um, that's on the sales side. On the letting side, if you have, for example, tenants and the tenants need to set up new direct debits, then you need to be sending them the bank details. But we recommend that you don't obviously send the full bank details because you would always be at risk of hacking. Uh, perhaps your emails are being monitored or they're being intercepted. So what we're doing is we're withholding the last four digits and um, we're asking the tenants to phone in to get the four digits over the phone. It also gives us an opportunity to monitor and make sure that the tenants are being responsive and seeing that they need to do this. Uh, I know that there's still you know, a good few weeks left before we reach the sort of the cliff edge of end of Ulster Bank, but nonetheless, you know, particularly in, in lettings, we run on monthly cycles and, you know, time can pass very, very quickly. So if you are doing this migration to another bank, I do hope that it's going well for you. If you're struggling and pulling your hair out, don't ask for help either from your new bank or if I can be of help, do let me know. As you say, we've moved to Bank of Ireland and we have found it to be a really good process. And I am really impressed with their level of encryption and security across uh, their systems. Um, as I say, don't be lost. Give me or give somebody a call if you're really struggling and we'll see if we can help you out. Other than that, I hope you're all keeping well and um, speak to you soon. Bye bye.